Hello guys, in this video, let's create a sample mesh triangle effect in Niagara. We can see this effect in the level, which is pretty good. Ok, first we have created a basic sample mesh triangle effect. It's very simple. We only need to calculate the position, spread alignment, spread facing, and spread size. Finally, the calculate offset of the mesh triangle is transferred through dynamic parameter into the material. Ok, we also have a material of the triangle mask. The dynamic parameter here are the ones just used in the module. And we need to change default pivot x to 0. Ok, when we complete this part, we will get a basic sample mesh triangle effect. Like this. And now let's make some change to it. So it looks the same as in the preview. Ok, we need to change the material. First, we need to change the blend mode to translucent and the shading mode to unlit. We also need a particle color as the emissive color. Multiply alpha and mask to opacity and RGB channel to emissive color. Now we are going to make a emissive edge. So we need to draw three lines. Use the draw line 2D function. We all know that it takes two points to draw a straight line. So we only need three vertices of a triangle to make its edges. The first line 0, 0 and 0, 1. We can preview it. Uh, we need to change it weights. Maybe 0 0.05. Ok. And the second line. Copy this node. And this point is 0, 0 and 1, 0. Same width, yes. Add them. Okay, this point is 0, 1 and 1, 0. Same width. Add them. Now we get a uh, triangle edges and we don't need to worry about the weights of the diagonal line multiplying it by the mask will filter out the excess ok let's multiply it by the mask yes we can see the same weights now let's increase the emissive color intensity of edge and add it to the mask. Ok, now we get this effect like wireframe. Ok, now let's change the mask opacity. Multiplied by uh, 0 0.1. Yes. And multiplied by a uh, color. RGB channel. OK. And the opacity. Yes. Now we get a wireframe effect. OK. Let's see it in the level. Yes, this is the effect what we want. It samples the triangles of the mesh very accurately. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.